Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at payment blocks in SAP S4 HANA using Fiori. We will focus on the vendor side, however, it works the same for the customer. So let's first create a vendor invoice. To start the process, we will navigate to the application called Create Supplier Invoice. Select this one. I've already explained you this application in another video of mine, so I will leave you a link in the description of this one if you're interested in the details. However, we will now select invoice over here, insert an invoice date, an invoicing party, as well as our company code, the gross invoice amount, let's say 1000 euro. And then a reference is also required, but this depends on the document type. So let's just say test. And then let's scroll down a bit. Here you can see we could include a purchasing document reference, but for now we will leave it as is. Instead, we will include a GL account item, so click on add. We will just debit an expense account, provide an amount, 1000 again, click on show details. And then we will assign this position to a cost center. And that's basically it. Now let's go to the payment section. Over here we can provide our payment details, such as the payment terms, also the baseline date for the calculation of due dates. And quite importantly, over here we can select the payment block. Right now it's free for payment. However, as you can see, we could also block this invoice for payment due to various reasons. Those reasons are assigned to so-called codes, as you can see over here. One of the codes would be A, B, I, and so on. Let's just say block for payment, this one over here. And that's basically it. We will check the invoice again. It looks fine, so we can simulate it. Here you can see the line items that would be posted. So we have a debit to our expense account and a credit to our vendor. We will click on post. Now you can see documents have been created and are blocked for payment. We can inspect the supplier invoice via this button over here. So here the invoice details are being displayed and you can already see the payment status blocked for payment. We can even click on this payment status. We are forwarded to the next screen where we can see that the invoice is blocked for payment and here we can also see the timeline. So the invoice document date, the posting date and the payment due date. Further down, we can also see a statistic for this supplier. So here we can see the blocked invoices for the supplier by amount and also by reason. Let's go back. Over here you can also see a button called release. We can actually click this to manually release this invoice and now it is ready for posting. So the payment block was released. We can also inspect the process flow via journal entries. Here you can see the process flow. So we created the vendor invoice and also the financial posting and you can see the status is free for payment. This was kind of a manual way to release a block payment. However, let me now show you another application where we can have an overview of all our blocked or unblocked invoices. So we navigate to the application called Manage Payment Blocks, this one over here. Here we will search for our supplier, hit on go, and then we navigate into the supplier. So click on this one over here. And here we can see the supplier that we posted values to. It says unblocked, however, I would advise you to always go into the detailed section because here you can see we have two line items. This is the one we unblocked ourselves manually. And then I created another invoice in the background where I set the payment block A. And you can see this item is blocked. From here we could inspect the journal entry or also we can click on this arrow over here and then inspect the details for the journal entry directly. So here we could unblock the item like that. Click on unblock and that's it. Now all the line items of the supplier aren't blocked anymore. However, I could also block the whole supplier via this button. Then we will say block for payment, hit on OK. You can see now all of the accounts are blocked. And if we go back and back again, you can also see the status was updated. Let me actually now deselect the filter and hit on go. And here you can now see also all of the other suppliers relevant for payment blocks for this specific company code. And you can do the same as I've shown you before now for the other accounts. Now before we jump into the payment run, to see the payment block in action, I want to show you two more things. First of all, we will navigate to the application called Schedule Supplier Invoice Jobs Advanced. Select this application. With this application, we can create a job so that the payment blocks are released automatically. Therefore, we just need to click on Create, then we click here on X, select the search help, and select Release Blocked Invoices. Click on Step 2, Start Immediately. Here you can decide whether the job should start immediately or at the desired time. So if it shouldn't start immediately, you just deselect this one over here and then you can adjust the time it should start. Also, you can click on Define Recurring Pattern. So for instance, that this run will be executed hourly or daily. 
Click on Cancel for now. As a next step, we can define the parameters, such as the company code, and we can even restrict it for fiscal years, invoice documents, suppliers, and so on. And over here in the processing section, we can say release automatically, and that's basically it. We can check, then we can schedule, and we can see the job is finished, we can view the results, and we can see a list of suppliers where the payment block was released. Now, before we look into the payment run, one more thing, we can also set payment blocks in the Business Partner Master. So we navigate to Manage, Business, Partner, Master Data, select this one. We search for our Business Partner, hit on Go. By the way, if you want to find out more about the Business Partner, I will leave you a whole playlist of mine in the description of this video. So make sure to check it out. Select the Business Partner, then go to the Role section, select the role for Supplier Financial Accounting, also called FLVN00, then go to Company Codes, select the Company Code, and if we now click on the Edit function, and then scroll down a bit. We can also see that we can set the payment block over here in the master data as well. This payment block will then be copied when we create financial data for this supplier. However, we can always overwrite the payment block when, for instance, posting the invoice, like in the example you have seen before. So far, so good. You can see this vendor is blocked for payment. We will now try to create a payment run. So we navigate to Manage Automatic Payments, click on Create Parameter, identification. By the way, I have a video about this here where I explain the steps in detail. I will also leave you the link in the description of this one. Insert a company code, the next payment date. We will insert our supplier, the payment methods, and make sure that the additional lock is set to on. Click on save, then click on schedule, proposal, start immediately and schedule. Here we can see the proposal. Let's inspect this one. Click on exceptions. And over here we can see the error description, account is blocked for payment. So even from here we can select the lines and then select unblock if necessary. So click on this one, insert the payment details and then we hit on OK to unblock this vendor for payment. OK, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.